This video contains content that may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. When I heard that there was an invasion of Asian giant killer hornets here in America, I thought to myself, man, what else is going to happen? This is like something in the Bible, the plagues. I mean, we've been dealing with natural disasters so far as uh, the weather, floods, hurricanes, earthquakes. Now we're dealing with the coronavirus epidemic that has crippled the world. And now we are dealing with an invasion of giant hornets. And I began to think a little deeply into this because it was in Washington State that the um, coronavirus started here in America. And again, it is Washington State that has the first sighting of these Asian giant killer hornets. Look, people, I mean, uh, it is quite evident that Asians are bringing these diseases and these insects and whatever else that's come from Asia, they're bringing it here. Because how else would it get here? Is it magically just going to pop up here? Or uh, through evolution, some oh, some bird or whatever is going to turn into some type of Asian bird or Asian fish? Or is someone bringing birds and Asians and insects and bugs from Asia? I used to help people move. And I would always tell them, say, man, those, that furniture and those dresser drawers, all your furniture and stuff, you need to spray it because those roaches, spiders, and other insects hides in the cracks and crevices of these little furnitures that you have in your chairs, in the tables, and in your cabinets. So you are just transferring these insects and bugs from one place to the next. And it's the same thing immigrants do. When immigrants come from one country to another, they bring their diseases and insects and whatever else to another country. When I was a kid, I remember that um, when they started letting Hispanics into the neighborhood, we started seeing flying cockroaches. We didn't see that until then. You know, when things like this happen, the culprit is always money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Not money, it's the love of it. Some people will do anything to get it. And that includes allowing some people to cross the border unchecked. But the real question from all this is, has the fifth trumpet been sounded? The one that they speak of in Revelations, where these plagues are going to come up on the earth. I mean, because I keep saying that, hey, man, if you think about America and you say, well, what has America done wrong and continues to do wrong? So it was be slavery and how they treat black people. And how they continue to treat black people. And instead of America change to you know trying to change its ways, have a change of heart, it continues with the onslaught. And because of that, these plagues are going to continue. I mean, I just feel that. Because there's so much separation that in a time of these pandemics and these natural disasters, there is a time when people should come together because everyone needs each other. 
their strength in numbers. But instead of doing that, we have become more divisive. We have become more separated here in America, really around the world. I see that there is a wedge being placed between melanated people and non-melanated people. And regardless of what they may say, report, and write, there are more non-melanated people suffering from these natural disasters and diseases and outbreaks and these plagues than there are melanated people. Now, that's just my observation. But the fact is that, hey, we got the coronavirus to deal with, and on top of that, now we have to deal with this invasion of uh, giant-ass hornets. It started in Washington. I mean, is it going to bop around like it did with the uh, coronavirus? Washington. Then it's going to go somewhere, maybe with uh, New York. Then it's going to switch over to where uh, California. I mean, if you really wanted to try to count these different plagues, I mean, what is this, three? I would say three. You had the natural disaster with the earthquakes and the floodings. Now we have these different outbreaks with this uh, coronavirus and the SARS, the swine flu, we had that. And now we're going to have these invasion of these different insects that are going to be humongous. And if you get in their way, only God can help you. You do know that as long as people are not allowed to return to work, there's going to be famine. Because here in America, we don't give things away. They said it. So if you don't have any money, you don't have a job. You don't have no money. No money, no food, no shelter. What's probably going to happen after that is these, like, labor camps. Because there's no work. We got this work for you to do over here. And uh, the work that you should see done around the city is now going to be done practically for free by people who used to have good jobs. Now they're going to be on the side of the road picking up trash or cutting the grass or chores like that or working on some government-owned ranch or farm. Because during this government shutdown of the just of America, no restaurants are open. I mean, I'm tired of churches, chicken, McDonald's. I'm tired of this shit. But when I think about these politicians, they still have cooks. They eating good, but we have to eat this trash. We just said that life will never be the same here in America. I remember after 9-11, people thought that you know, everything was going back to normal. How you go to the airport, just go through and get around the plane and come out. Now you got to almost get naked before you get on the airplane. They keep floating around this theory that people are asymptomatic. Oh, you may have it, but you're just not showing no signs. And I'm going to tell you, man, uh, these thermometer things where they put on your forehead, I noticed that they scan my forehead. And I had a headache for a couple of days, man. So I don't trust that, for real. I'm going to think I'm going to buy me one of the old school thermometers and use that. Hey, man, we're going to use this. I don't want that thing. I don't want that, uh, those uh, uh, microwaves floating through my damn head. And why don't they, you know, you go to the store, you go into the drug section, they have medicine for severe colds. Why come you don't, you know, just... Upgraded some so it can handle this coronavirus. I mean, that will make some sense to me. Instead of you trying to find all these different things for it, make some stronger medicine. I mean, I think that would work. And when it comes to these uh, hornets, I wonder what some of that bingo spray handle. Cause that bingo spray is pretty good, man. I mean, I, I spray a bug with that, man. He just lay it down. Ain't no wiggling around for a few minutes. He just kill on over. But if this is something that is biblical, 
I think that now will be a good time to get your heart right, buddy. You know, I used to always tell people, hey, man, you better prepare to leave America. Because one day America is going to be destroyed. It's not going to be the same America. It's not going to be a place that you would want to live. And America is swiftly becoming that place. I mean, if Las Vegas is Sin City, what the hell is America? And as I always say, hey, no civilization has lasted forever. Greece, Rome, Carthage, all these places had their heyday. But then they all fell, just like the great USA. It had its heyday. I was fortunate enough to uh, live and see those days. But the depressing thing is that I'm living to see is destruction. And it does not feel good being here in America at this particular point in time. I just don't really feel as if America is going to recover. I really don't. America has never done the things required to heal itself. All it does is mask its injuries, but it never heal it. And this big sore that America has is racism. And it's a shame that America just don't want to deal with that problem. So because of that, America will fall. It's just a matter of when. You know, I used to stay up in uh, Washington State, Tacoma. I think that was around in 82, somewhere up in 81. And when I got there, I noticed that the Native Americans that were in Washington were not allowed to have alcohol. It was like an unwritten rule that when they go to these bars, they would not sell the Native Americans, alcohol. They say they would go crazy. So maybe there are the spirits up there in that part of America, in the Washington area, Washington State, that are trying to drive you people off the land. I remember when they had that, what, that uh, Mount St. Helens eruption. You, got, you know, when, you, when I looked up Washington State, there are so many damn diseases and outbreaks in Washington State, man, just ridiculous. And there's a reason why all this stuff is happening, man. And you have to look at the people that are not indigenous to that land because if everything was going along fine, then all of a sudden you have certain people come in and now we have these different outbreaks and diseases. Hey, man, does it take a rocket science to add that up? When immigrants are allowed into this country, they should be sent through some type of decontamination chamber. Them and all of their belongings to make sure that there are no insects and diseases. But you know, all of that is just talk. Because in reality, all we can do is prepare ourselves for the next plague that is going to come upon the land. Because the leaders of this land will not change. They will keep on doing the same thing because they are insane. When you're insane, you keep doing the same thing and try to come up with different results. But if you want different results, you have to do things differently. Well, America, I mean, you had a nice run. You had a real good run. You've accomplished some great things. But it is time for you to put up your fiddling bow. Because the show is over.